Oh, down in my workshop I've got all sorts of diffs that I've put on one side for maybe looking at later and this is one of them. Um, this is a very horrible series diff um, and I've got a customer who wants something like this rebuilt. He's very specific what he wants. Um, he wants the casing that's got the extra heel, which is that there, and a dowel goes in. Unfortunately, the dowel's missing, but I'm sure I can find that. Uh, the crown wheel's pretty horrible, the diff's pretty horrible. I blue checked it and it's actually looking half decent. So we're gonna see what we can do with this for him. So first job is to get it completely apart, get that really filthy, dirty crown wheel in the ultrasonic and see what we can do and clean all the other bits up. Um, basically, this has uh, got to look original on the outside, but on the inside, we can actually beef it up with more modern bolts and lose all the locking tabs and put better quality bolts in, etc. Uh, an interesting little build, um, but we're going to reuse the crown wheel because this one he wants for the front and therefore doesn't want to spend a fortune on one of our lovely brand new old stock uh, series crown wheels, which is fully understandable. So into the ultrasonic bath once I've got it all apart. And amongst all the blue check, to check, check it actually has got a pattern which isn't too bad. Uh, when you actually look at the crown wheel itself, it's pretty damn grubby. So we're going to have that and the pinion in our ultrasonic and we're going to boil the hell with chemicals and see how it looks then and see what we can do on top of that. Now here is the pinion that's come out of that lovely diff. This has sat in my ultrasonic cleaner for the best part of three or four sessions and you can see there the number on it which is 5265 and I'm showing you that because I want you to see what we can actually do to this very grubby looking pinion even though it has been boiled with chemicals to get it clean that's not where we stop. Casing has now been cleaned and painted. We've got to do a final clean before build. Uh, but we have a table of joiners here. We're reusing the crown wheel and pinion. This is the crown wheel and pinion you saw earlier. And if I jiggle this around, you can actually see there, there's the correct number. Come up really well. Um, need to get some of the media out of here, but that, uh, that crown wheel and pinion will go again. This is going in the front of a series, so to be honest, it's not worth spending a fortune on a brand new crown wheel uh, when it's basically rear wheel drive. So we're saving a lot of money by, by re-cleaning, re-polishing and reusing that. Um, the gear sets have come up really well. Just got to finally check those over. We've got new thrusts to go in. Uh, we've got new uh, bearings at the back there for the head and the tail. Carrier caps, assorted bolts. The centre's got to go back together. The bearings have got to be pulled off and redone. We've got a pair of genuine Land Rover um, early uh, bearings for that with the seal. New dry flange, dust sealed. That's the brass shim that's come back out. The polisher we'll reuse. And all the various nuts and bolts and bits and lock tabs. Basically, what the customer has agreed and suggested on this is that it is original when you look at it from the outside fitted on the vehicle but on the inside it's been upgraded so we're not uh, on here putting tab locks uh, like these that we're putting on the front uh, we're putting a heavy duty bolt uh, we're putting nordlock washers we're upgrading the carrier cap bolts um, as you'll see at the end of the video so this is the front that's about to go back together Sensors back together, needs a new bearing on the end. That's the original one we haven't taken off yet. Cleaned up really well on the inside. Um, that's all ready to go. Um, and a new bearing on the top, but otherwise, center's done. I am constantly amazed by old school quality. Uh, here we have the diff number one finished. So just to recap, this is a series, going in a series. The customer wants to upgrade in the inside, but looking original on the outside. So on the outside, we've uh, obviously got the four bolt flange, the normal dust shield with the normal seal, the aluminium nose cone, the locking tabs are all on there. And obviously we've repolished the brass, beautiful brass filler plug. Uh, and it really does look very nice, but that's not what's quite so impressive. When we look at the inside, what we've done is we've upgraded the carrier cap bolts. We've put 12.9 um, grade socket caps with Nord locks. And on the crown wheel side, we've got rid of all the very early 1950s 
very soft metal bolts where they had to have lock tabs and we've put um, special threaded because these are really unusual these early crown wheels they're not the normal thread um, allen bolts and again more nord locks in there uh, we put our own excess 4x4 ears on each side because we're not using the lock wire. What's impressive is when you look at that blue check, and this diff is the best part of 50, maybe coming up for 60 years old, and it's a perfect blue check on both sides. What is amazing is this diff is extremely rare. When we measure the backlash, we measure it in six places. So we sort of go 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So you'll get different readings as you go round, and the tolerances are quite massive. So you might get, I don't know, 6 here and 10 there. So your backlash is 6 and 10, but your run out is 4 thou. This, in six quadrants, is 5.5 thou. There is zero run out. And that shows in the blue check. And the fact it is unbelievably quiet and smooth. And that is down to the quality of that crown wheel. And everything when you build a diff comes back to the blue check. That is really quite incredible for a diff that we've saved from the scrap bin. And the customer is going to be over the moon. The only problem with it is he might find that the diff's so quiet that his gearbox is going to drive him mad because there's going to be no noise coming from this. Oh, one down, one to go.